So today I'll be talking about um, how to do something that is quite uh, simple in the clinic setting, but in such a way that we can make it a pleasant experience for our patient. So I have no relevant disclosure when it comes to this lecture. So for today's presentation outline, I'll be talking about the nail procedure consultation, how to explain the procedure to our patient, uh, how to prepare the patient, the relevant anatomy that's important, what materials we need, and how to do the digital nerve block. So the procedure consultation is the in initial means by which we are able to establish rapport with our patient. So nail surgery, as you know, usually we do it in an outpatient setting. It entails a treatment contract between us and the patient. So we have to observe both the verbal and nonverbal cues of our patient. Um, so, so among the following photos, which conditions do you think has the highest impact on the quality of life of an affected patient? So according to this journal, the Dermatology Life Quality Index of an ingrown nail patient left untreated without an intervention has a score of 8.3, higher than those with atopic contact dermatitis or alopecia areata patients. So I have no conflict of interest and I have nothing to disclose. So as a review, ingrown nail is a condition wherein a nail spicule pierces the lateral folds. It is the most common form causing a foreign body type reaction, um, which leads to inflammation, pain, granul granulation tissue formation, and secondary bacterial infection. So this cascade of reaction tends to be chronic and cyclical, and then the causes are multifactorial. My doctor is I'm Yu Chen Huang from Wanfang Hospital. Today, I want to share the experience of nail brace for ingrown nails. Mm, there are many kinds of nail braces, but I only introduced three kinds of nail brace that we use in our hospital. The first is an adhesive nail brace. So first we fix the plastic pad on the nail plate, and then we twist the wire so it can hold the nail plate up. And the second is a hook device. Uh, one side is a hook and another side is a pad. So we attach the hook to the lateral border of nail plate first, and then keep attention and fix the pad on the nail plate. So the bending force can pull the nail plate up. And the strength is stronger than the adhesive type. So the, the, the professor Chi He Park is a professor of the Samsung Medical Center and Sangyukan University School of Medicine. She will talk about the ingrowing nail management option in Korea. Please go ahead. Thank you for uh, introduction, Professor Hart. Uh, Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for inviting me as a speaker. It is my honor to interact with the great dermatologist in Asia. My name is Tia Park. I'm working at Samsung Medical Center as a dermatologist. And I'm interested in dermatopathology, dermatologic surgery, and drug adoption. Uh, Tonight, I would like to give a presentation about management of ingrowing nail. First, I will show you uh, cases of a variety of ingrowing nail caused by various different reasons. And then I'm going to tell how I treated them. First, two, uh, these are various types of ingrowing nail. Welcome, Chiroko. That a go? Yes. I try to put everyone here. <laughs> I think Joyce has answered the question already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, we don't have the brace. I don't. I don't know where you can find the brace, but it looks quite promising. If uh, it is not expensive, mm -hmm. I'd like to try that actually because we have a lot of pincer nail around. Ingrown toenail is quite common, but usually mm. we we cauterize. Uh, we do the, the matrix cycling by doing a cautery. You can use one of those uh, uh, like a spoon shape cautery head, and then just push it 
right underneath where the matrix is. So we don't use a phenol of PCA. 